Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys. It has now been an entire week without Barca, without Koeman Ball. We haven't had any of that good stuff and sadly it is still going to be one more week, well just more than a week until it's back again. But we do continue pushing, we do continue waiting and in today's video we are going to be discussing the rather serious matter of Ansu Fati and a bit more of a concrete update on his recovery as it stands. We're also going to be talking about what Juan Laporta actually said to Ansu in these important days for him and I also do want to bring their particular emphasis to something that Laporta said to Koeman shortly after he was elected and another gesture from Ronald himself towards Barca, which once again, I think we'll all appreciate. It's all coming up today. Let's get to it now. Come on. But if we do indeed start with the serious news of Ansu Fati, because we all know that his recovery has not been progressing in the way that we hoped, and worryingly, there is still no return date, not even in sight. There's nothing at all being mentioned there about a date that he could come back, or even in the near future, nothing at all like that. He has failed to recover in the way that we'd all hoped originally. Now, intense discussions have been taking place over the past few days to basically find out what's the next step, where is he going to go from here, and what sort of action does he need to take there to sort out that meniscus problem which has kept him sidelined now since the very beginning of November and according to the Catalan media it has now been decided Ansu there has been talking with his family with those close to him also of course with the club doctors and indeed professionals from the outside and it has been decided that over the next two weeks or so Ansu Fati is going to undergo real intense final therapy and during that period what they're going to do is basically take test Ansu's knee more than they have been in recent times. They're going to increase that workload and they're basically going to see what he can cope with. Will the knee stand up to that extra pressure? Will that knee there respond to that greater workload? And basically what the media are saying is that Barcelona and Ansu Fati, they are hoping for a miracle. That is the way they describe it in the media. So it is a bit of a long shot. We don't know whether it is indeed going to happen in that way. But either way, over the next 10 to 14 days, we're going to have an answer. We are going to have a concrete solution one way or another. Either we're going to get that miracle, and I would love that. That would be some of the best news ever for Ansu Fati to finally get a bit of luck. Or, if that doesn't happen, if the knee doesn't respond, if there's pain there, if there's swelling, all of that kind of stuff, if that doesn't happen, then we reach the point where we're saying, okay, there needs to be another surgery. That's not a route that we wanted to go down. That's not a route there that certainly makes me feel good at all because if he does have that surgery it's not so much in the short term but in the long term there over the course of his career it does pose a greater risk when you keep there having these repeated surgeries when you're removing there more and more of the meniscus it is certainly dangerous as you go on but I do want to point out here that just a few days ago there on Friday Juan Laporta was actually at the training ground he made a special visit there to come to the training ground basically to send some encouragement and give his personal support to Ansu Fati, who was there, of course, working on his recovery. He was at the training ground there for apparently about three hours. And Laporta apparently told Ansu that the club is fully behind him. Whatever happens, whatever route we need to go down, whatever is going to happen in the future, he and the club there are going to support him during what is here the toughest moment of his young career so far. And I think that's really important there to have your president come greet you personally, again, having that personal relationship with what is a key player for Barcelona and be basically saying, you know what, we are going to support you, we are with you, we know this is tough, we know it's a difficult time, but hopefully we can get through this, and upon leaving there, the training ground, Laporta told journalists, he said, we're encouraging Ansu Fati, he said, I'm convinced that he will recover well, and all we can do now, all of us, is just hope. But speaking of Laporta and speaking there of the kind of character that he is, I do want to follow that up there, given the fact that he is establishing these really personal relationships, which I think is so, so important in a club like Barcelona. And I want to bring you here something he told Ronald Koeman just after he was elected as the president. Because we all know that so far, Laporta, in the public domain, he's been really, really supportive of Ronald Koeman, something we've all appreciated. And I think Koeman has really appreciated that too. But I just want to take you back here to the election. Because if you remember there, 
uh, just days before the election, the media came out with some big nonsense story saying basically that Arteta was the man that the porter wanted to replace Ronald Koeman with. Now, I think at the time that was some sort of last minute ploy there to try and lose Laporta some votes, but obviously it didn't work out like that. But also remember, just days after Laporta had won the election, then there was a new report saying, you know what, Laporta wants to bring in Julian Nagelsmann. He's the man that Laporta wants to lead the club. And again, not Ronald Koeman. And the media have been very, very strong on this. They have repeatedly said, basically, that Laporta wanted to remove and replace Ronald Koeman. But I just want to point out here something that's emerged recently since that time, because it's now been said that Laporta, once those news articles came out there, particularly the one there about Nagelsmann and those that were circulating in the media, Laporta at that time, as soon as he saw them, he called Ronald Koeman and he said, you know what? It's simply not true. I'm giving you my support. I'm backing you. You are my man. And he was basically there just reassuring him and making sure that he knew that he did support Ronald Koeman. And I think that's so, so important there. It might seem like something that's quite small, but that is the kind of man that you want to work under. Whether you're a coach, whether you're a player, that transparency, he'll tell you straight in the good times or the bad, if you're doing well, if you need to do more, he will be honest with you. Something that we've lacked now for so, so many years. And I think that was a really, really positive sign there from Laporta and the kind of leadership that we have been lacking and we've been desperate for at this club. Finally though guys, on Ronald Koeman, I do also want to bring you another goodwill gesture from him towards the club because again, in the media over this international break, a number of different sort of reports have emerged and one thing that has come out is again, going back there, this time to the summer, apparently Ronald Koeman visited the club's museum. You could of course go into the camp now there, you could have a look around the museum, there is so much to see. If you do go there, I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend that because it is absolutely full of trophies. But Koeman apparently there went to visit the museum museum and obviously once he got there he was recognized you know he's a big big figure in Barcelona you would know him if you saw him and obviously when he went to go in they were saying look Ronald you know you can come in for free we're not going to charge you you don't have to pay absolutely anything to come in but he insisted there upon paying his fee he said no I want to pay I want to contribute here towards the club he went into the museum he had a look around and then apparently he went to the club shop and again it was the same sort of story they were saying you know what Ronald you can have whatever you like you know you want to take some shirts you can have those appreciating the legend that he is for the club, but again, Ronald Koeman said no. He said, look, I'm going to pay for my items, I'm going to contribute to the club, and again, it is something there that obviously is, you know, just a small contribution, but it just shows here the commitment that Koeman has to this club. He wants the best for Barcelona, and that is why right now Laporta, us fans, the players, we are all behind him, we are all pushing now to end this season very, very strongly, and of course, we're all looking forward to getting back in action. It's not too long to wait, and when the time comes, Barca, hopefully, will pick up where they left off. And of course, guys, starting, you know, towards the end of next week, we are going to be building up to Barcelona's return. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I hope you're finding a way to stay entertained. I will see you soon, but until next time, as always, Vizca, el Barca! Uh -huh.